All right, speculation over Donald Trump's VP pick continues as we now inch closer to the RNC and the convention. And one contender is North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum, who is quickly gaining momentum. A Trump insider telling the New York Post that Burgum is somebody who is very smart, has a lot of money, not interested in public service to enrich himself, and he understands Trump on a business level. And he's quiet and a steady hand, but still a sharp surrogate when needed for Trump. Here now with his first appearance, by the way, on Hannity, North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum. Uh, Governor, great to have you. Appreciate you being with us. Uh, do you want the job? Well, Sean, first of all, great to be with you. Thanks for having me on. And I know there's a ton of interest in this uh, process that's going on right now about the VP thing. But I think what's clear is that President Trump, who's winning across every demographic, can win this whole thing on himself. And I mean, he's, you know, he's winning against Hispanics, he's winning with blacks, he's winning with under 30. The guy is so strong. But the real thing, which we ought to be talking about, is Joe Biden's choice for VP, because as you showed earlier in the show, uh, with, with Joe, with, with him obviously failing right now in front of the world stage and the national stage, uh, and then he picked four years ago someone who's got no business experience, no operating experience. Between uh, Biden and Harris, they've never created a private sector job in their life. And then here we are facing a set of issues that a businessman like Trump can really take care of, which is our economy. Uh, Trump's proven that he can take care of the border. Uh, and Trump's energy policy is going to, you know, change the whole national security scene. So I, I think that the, you know, the focus ought to be on Biden's choice. And, and who knows if Biden's even going to make it to the starting line. Let me go back to the beginning a little bit, and uh, I'm not trying to be—I'm just trying to be, cons be persistent in a nice way. Uh, if asked yeah. to be VP, what would your answer be? Well, I think, uh, Sean, I don't want to speculate. This is a decision for President Trump and Trump alone. He's got a lot of great choices that That's he can make. That's why I said if. Uh, the, if if yeah. asked, well, what I, would I, you say? If you yeah, were well, asked. I think, again, I—, I I just want to say, you know, again, if we think about the private sector and my private sector experience. I mean, these are big personnel decisions. I have a lot of trust in President Trump making that decision. But I think if there's questions about the process, uh, those should go to the go back to the Trump team. Uh, my focus right now, I had an opportunity to run again as governor for a third term in North Dakota, chose not to do that because as been a governor under President Trump, I've been a governor under Biden. Under President Trump, it was like a it was like a beautiful breeze at your back. And under Joe Biden, for our state, a natural resources state with a big national security footprint, an agriculture state, it's, it's like having a gale forced wind in your face because right now we're pushing back on over 30 different uh, Biden mandates. Talk about, you know, being a dictatorship. Uh, this, is the, this is what's happening under Biden. They've got one party ideologues creating rules and mandates that are raising the price of food, raising the price of gasoline. We talk about that. Every host is on. But it starts at the point of production. They're putting rules and regulation and red tape. So an ag state, an energy state like ours, our oil production is down. Iran's up. I mean, Joe Biden's energy policies, I don't know who wrote them, Russia, Iran, Venezuela, or China, one of those four, they're the ones that are benefiting and it's hurting the American people. So uh, as, far as, as far as my future right now, the only thing that we're focused on is making sure that President Trump wins in November. Do you think, if you look at what the, the usual criteria is to pick a VP, do no harm, you certainly check that box. You've had a very successful uh, governorship for your great state. You've done a great job uh, by every measure, Governor. Congratulations to you. Um, uh, North Dakota, however, is not in play. Demographically, you wouldn't check a box that, that people often look to when it comes to choosing a VP. Any argument the other way? I mean, what would you be looking for if you were the pre running for president right now? Well, I, I think President Trump has got the, uh, he's got a golden opportunity, unlike Joe Biden, who saddled with his choice of four years ago. President Trump doesn't yeah. need a VP to win. He can focus on someone that can help him govern, someone who can help him get stuff done. And I think he's got a lot of great choices to help him do that. All right, Governor, great to see you and uh, love the, your state, love the people of your state. I've been there many times. Thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.